So today we're configuring IC7, fresh out of the box, plugged in, so everything's breathing, just zeros and minus numbers, it's not configured at all. First thing you should always do, uh, if new product is evolving all the time, go to the Haltech webpage, go to the IC7 dash download and install it. Once you have that done, then you can launch your software. And once you launch your software, uh, we're going to advise you that uh, you should do a firmware update, which I strongly recommend you do, because they keep adding new features all the time. So literally now it is doing a firmware update while we talk. And things that have been added since the Dash came out first, well, when the Dash arrived first, it uh, was only very simple uh, functionality controlling the colors and stuff like that. But since then, uh, by doing firmware upgrades now, we've got things like for analog inputs now working on the dash and they're continually adding to this all the time so uh, if you don't uh, bother to check regularly you won't get the best out of the dash as it evolves. So we've just about finished doing that and the dash will come back on now and hopefully we haven't broken it because doing electronics live, the camera always gives trouble. So here we go, it's taking forever for some reason just because there's a camera involved. So once we've done that, then we'll start to configure it. This uh, here is working uh, alongside the Link G4 in this particular installation. It's an installation we've done several times before on these uh, Duratec Paris RTs. Um, and now we are online and the firmware is fully updated. So what I hope to be able to do is, I don't know if you can see this or not, but we're gonna basically going to open hopefully a calibration that I've got before uh, for one of these RTs uh, from my system and I'm just going to upload it and then you'll be able to see the pages I've created already uh, for this um, and really once you have uh, done it before uh, it's all quite simple now the only thing I will say we have done a video of the software on our YouTube channel. We will update that now shortly with the new functions involved uh, with the display. So now I've uploaded my freedom config and it's got some configs there. Yep, yeah, there are the configs. I'm going to send them up to the dash and hopefully we'll be able to see them here now in a sec. And this will also have the campus config, hopefully, be used to figure correctly up to from memory. So, hopefully, good. So, here it goes, yeah, so we're now live, so we've now configured it uh, based on the settings that I used before uh, for this type of car, so with oil pressure, coolant temperature, air temperature reading, sensible speed, fuel pressure reading wrong at the moment, we just need to configure the sensor on the ECU because it's just been added, throttle position, let's see, does it do throttle position, yep, yeah, just throttle position. Battery and away we go. And we have a few other screens created for this uh, here for racing. And, uh, this is the screen we like most for racing because it basically gives you engine revs and temperature. And they're probably the two most important things to watch when you're really, really racing hard. Fuel and temperature is okay. You've got oil pressure, fuel pressure, fuel and temperature, air temperature down here. And there are other games are set up, just different background colors, different information on them based on what the last user wants. I would tweak these for this user. Um, and uh, that's it, that's how simple it was. Literally, we took it out of the box, put it in, we updated the firmware, uh, we put a free on configuration, which TDP can provide you with. If you bought one of these off us, we will quite happily provide you with a free done configuration. It saves you some time, or you can spend some time working out the configuration yourself. So, uh, check back to us for more updates regularly. Thank you.